Have you ever wished that you could use the Retrolog filters or effects separately? Well, now you can. The new Audio Ins option offers you the opportunity to send audio to the VST3 instrument plugins, which now support sidechaining. Sidechaining is an old concept with a lot of modern applications. Anywhere you see this icon, you can activate a sidechain. First, activate the sidechain. And on Retrolog, this additional control for input amount becomes active. Then, drop down the routings options for a track that you'd like to feed into Retrolog. Now, start playback on the transport. And as you trigger Retrolog, the incoming sound is mixed with the signal coming from Retrolog's internal oscillators. Now, if you want to eliminate Retrolog's oscillators and simply use it as a filter for your track, you can turn down Oscillator 1's volume or simply switch off Oscillator 1 altogether. Now, you can process the incoming signal through Retrolog's famous filter section. But we are just getting started. You can also make use of this side-chained configuration to use Retrolog's other features like the modulation matrix, LFO or onboard effects, and envelope. It's been a long time, and though we can't tell, it has been great so far. No, it ain't over, because it's getting even better every day now. Another option is to side-chain a VST instrument using the sends section. This configuration allows you to feather in just a portion of the signal, as you might when you're setting up an effects unit on a send return loop. It's been a long time, and though we can't tell, it has been great so far. No, it ain't over, cause it's getting even better every day now. And consider how the ability to sidechain through a VST vastly expands the sonic capability of the new sampler track. Let's create a sampler track. Now let's load it with content from the Kaleidoscope library. But now let's create an instance of Retrolog. And I'll load up a patch that I know has a very cool modulation matrix and LFO already built into it. Turn off the oscillators. Now simply enable the sidechain. And finally, route our sampler track directly through the sonic firepower of Retrolog. <laughs> 